Now we will discuss the second case of Doppler effect that is, source is at rest and the observer is in motion. So, let us suppose this is the position of the observer and this is the position of the source. The source is emitting waves. You must consider waves coming towards the observer. Uh, by the time when the first crust reaches the observer, suppose he is at O1, he would have come to a new position, that is, say, some O2. Therefore, the distance apparently decreases. Now, uh, let us suppose source is moving. A source is at rest and the observer is moving with a speed of, say, some meter. Now, we have to consider wave velocity with respect to the observer. So, the relative velocity of the sound waves from the source with respect to the observer is actually V plus V naught. Just remember what is the definition of vertical velocity and since you can see these two vectors in opposite sense, so you can understand why I have written the relative velocity of the sound waves with respect to the observer we have to consider that is given by V plus V O. So, time taken for the first crest to reach the observer is given by L by consider the relative velocity. And time taken for uh, N plus 1th crest to reach the observer as in the previous case can be written as N times T naught plus. So, here the distance decreases. So, this is the decrease in distance. So, that is given by n times and since it is coming v o into t naught by the relative velocity of sound waves with respect to observer. So, that is what we have to write. So, this is the, let us suppose v naught uh, this is Say this is T for one test. For n, it is n times V naught T naught. By that much distance, it decreases. Now, the time interval between n plus 1 crust and the first crust, that is, time taken for n waves to reach the observer. So, the difference of these two. So, this L by V plus V naught gets cancelled, and what remains? N T naught minus N. V naught T naught by V plus V naught. So you can take this N T naught common and this is say some delta T that is 1 minus V naught by V plus V naught. Now that is equal to N T naught. So, this after simplification V naught cancels. So, V by V plus V naught. This is what we get. So, that is the time taken for apparent time actually for the observer to receive one and the n number of waves. So, time taken for one V. So, that we can call it as time in here. So, that is given by T naught into V by V plus V naught. So, the reciprocal of that is nothing but apparent frequency that is equal to 1 by T naught. I am writing it as mu naught and this is V plus V naught by V or this can be written as mu dash equal to mu naught into 1 plus V naught by V. Now, we observe this here where the observer is moving towards stationary source. Again, he receives more number of waves per second than the actual waves generated from the source in unit time. Therefore, from this equation, we can say that apparent frequency is greater than the actual frequency of the source. Similarly, suppose if the observer is moving away from the source, change the sign of VO. In such case, the apparent frequency is given by mu naught 1 minus v naught by v. In this case, frequency decreases. 
so that is when the observer is moving away from the source so we derive the equations in the case of uh, source at rest and observer is in motion and then uh, and the previous what we derived is when observer is in motion and the source is at rest let us derive the general expression when both are in motion that is observer as well as source So that is third case actually. Source and observer both are in motion. So both are in motion. So let us suppose. Here is the observer and uh, moving with the speed of say V mo after some time. So let's suppose this is the position and here is the position of the source and uh, by the same time the source would have moved a distance say S2. Yes Let us suppose he is also moving away like this and uh, anyhow the sound waves are to be considered traveling towards the observer. So with respect to the observer, the velocity is V plus V naught. So we don't consider with respect to the source. So with respect to the observer, always the rate of velocity will be V plus V naught. So that is V plus V naught take. Uh, because this wave is coming towards this, our observer is moving towards the source. Now, uh, time taken for the first test to reach the observer. So initial distance is a L. Therefore, L by V plus here V mo. And time taken for N plus month crest. Direct I am going to that N plus month crest. And that is given by the time taken for N number of weeks. 30 naught is the period of the weeks plus L plus here that uh, uh, that due to the motion of the observer the distance is decreasing due to the motion of the source distance is increasing therefore we may write like this Vs minus V naught N times since you have taken N in this time taken for N is N into T naught so that is the effective change in distance between the observer and source and this divided by the relative velocity of the uh, sound waves with respect to the observer. So now the time interval Tn plus 1 minus T1. So here L by V plus V0 gets cancelled then what remains? N T0 will be there. You can take N T0 on. You can take N T0 on 1 plus here V S minus V naught but V plus V naught that will be there. Then after simplification that is equal to N T naught. Here V plus V naught means V naught V naught gets cancelled. So what remains is V plus V S by V plus V naught. So time taken for one wave is means n is equal to one or divided with n. That will be T naught V plus V S by V plus V naught. This is the time taken for one wave to reach the observer due to motion of both observer and the source. So therefore, apparent frequency, which is the reciprocal of time period, that is equal to mu naught into v plus this denominator term goes to the numerator, and the numerator term comes to the denominator. So this is the equation. So 
that is the general equation for the apparent frequency when both the source and observer are in motion. You have to change the signs for the observer speed or uh, speed of the uh, source depending upon the direction of motion. So uh, accordingly the, uh, those uh, signs will change. But one important thing is Doppler effect is a relativistic phenomena. And here we assume that medium is at rest. So if you consider the medium is also in motion, the uh, formulas will change. Of course, uh, the, that is not given in the syllabus. And now we will discuss briefly some applications of Doppler effect. So Doppler effect finds uh, so many applications in engineering and in physics. So particularly it is used in measuring the depth of oceans or seas and uh, to detect the uh, enemy submarines by the method of sonar which you might have uh, studied in your lower class. So by sending the ultrasonic waves and observing the reflected waves by measuring the change in frequency the depth can be measured that is the sonar method. Similarly the Doppler effect when applied to electromagnetic waves uh, the radar system uh, works using this Doppler effect uh, for of uh, electromagnetic waves. So the electromagnetic waves are sent from a station and uh, uh, it reaches an aeroplane, a part of it gets reflected back. So by analyzing that uh, uh, reflected waves, the speed and direction of motion of the aeroplanes can be estimated. This is used for navigation of aeroplanes at the airports and also by the military people for uh, observing the motion of enemy planes. Not only that, uh, the expansion of the universe was uh, known by observing there is a shift in the uh, where light, uh, wavelength of the light coming from distant stars and galaxies. So that means uh, you are going to study in uh, that light chapter that what is the red shift, what is blue shift. So if the wavelength is increasing means the source of light like a star uh, is moving away from the earth, observing that the earth is at rest. So this is the observer. So a red shift indicates the movement of stars away from the earth or with reference to the earth. So in that case, scientists found that the uh, universe is ever expanding. Similarly, they could study the uh, rotation or motion of the uh, uh, stars and uh, galaxies. So. Uh, and another application is in uh, medical field also using Doppler effect uh, the blood flow uh, in our body and uh, the, the working of our heart can, is also studied by doctors with help of uh, Doppler effect using ultrasonic waves. Okay? So with this the chapter is completed and uh, I am going to, uh, I have already sent you the notes, please go through the uh, topics and uh, all the answers are given for the important questions. So copy down and uh, tomorrow we are going to have a Zoom call where I am going to ask you uh, uh, whether you followed my lecture or not, so whether it is helpful or not. So I wanted to know it. Okay. So uh, uh, please read whatever is there in that uh, notes given at least once or twice try to understand the subject properly okay right. bye